Hello again guys and welcome to another video. In this video I'll cover the gates in our flow control series and see how it works. In order to add it to your event graph just search for gate and you can find it under your flow control tab. You can take off it as a real gate. It has enter which is the thing that enters the gate. You have open which is how you open it. Close which is how you close it. And toggle which toggles the door of your gate and opens and closes it every time it's triggered. You also have the default condition of your gate here as a boolean. It says start closed, so if it's checked, your gate will be closed when you start your code and if you uncheck it, it will be open from the beginning. Alright, let's connect it to an event tick so it runs on every frame and then add a print string and type the gate is open. If I check the boolean here, my gate will be closed so nothing can enter it and nothing happens. But if I open it up, you can see that the flow can enter and pass the gate and run whatever is connected to it. In order to play with these guys here and be able to control my gate, I'm gonna use input keys on my keyboard. In order to be able to give input to your blueprint, you need an enable input function connected to the event begin play and then a get player controller node like this and you're good to go. Now I'm gonna type keyboard and add 3 keys to my event graph. Let's put the first one on O for open, the next one on C for close and the last one on T for toggle. Then I'm gonna connect them to my gate and also close the gate and hit compile. Now what is going to happen is that when I press O on my keyboard, the gate will be opened and let the flow pass through it. If I hit C, it gets closed and everything stops. Again, O opens the gate and C closes it and if I hit T, it will toggle between open and close every time I press it. Yeah, and that is pretty much how the gate node works. It has a lot of use cases in making game logic and you will run into it frequently so I hope this quick introduction was useful for you and you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.